147 Indiana school districts were closed on November 19th for Red for Red Action Day. Instead of being in the classroom, teachers, students, and other public school supporters were rallying in red in Indianapolis, but also locally in Elkhart. Red for red. Vice President of Elkhart School Board of Trustees, Kelly Mullins, attended the Elkhart rally in support. I mean, there's a bigger event happening in Indianapolis today, but this local event in Elkhart, there's a great turnout. How does that make you feel about the amazing. support? It is amazing. Not only is it a turnout of our administrators and our teachers, it's also a turnout of all of our students. It's incredible to see all of these kids on their day off standing out here and they're excited and happy to be supporting their teachers. Meanwhile, there were other students and teachers from Elkhart County celebrating Red for Ed in Indianapolis. Fifth grade teacher at Prairie View, Amy Fisher, traveled to Indy with some coworkers, and Fisher had her own reasons for attending. I especially think about my colleagues who have only taught for 10 years or less. They come to school every day doing the same job as I do, putting in the same amount of time, but they take home at least a third, if not a half less of what I do because they are stuck at this rate of pay that will not increase. Another concern for Indiana teachers is the personal growth points requirement, also called PGP, to renew their teaching license. I would have to spend 15 of my 90 um, hours of recertification time focused on something completely other than the field of education. Kindergarten teacher and Indy rally attendee Aaron Biham Murillo feels that this requirement is unnecessary. And that is a big slap in the face to think we're so out of touch as educators who keep ourselves educated that we would need to add another 15 volunteer hours to our, to our lives. Third grade student Christina rallied alongside Biha Murillo to show her appreciation for teachers. I wouldn't like know anything if I didn't have a teacher and they're important to me also because they're kind of like my family. Teachers like Kelsey Norris were able to participate in Red for Ed because the school district decided to close for the day. Leading up to it, we didn't have that support so much that we were actually told that they were not going to cancel. <laughs> um, our principal, however, said, you know, this is something that we need to make sure that if you do want to go, you're going to go. So she called an all-staff meeting and figured out how we were going to cover classes and said if there's anybody else that wants to go, don't be afraid that you're going to get in trouble because you're not. We talk about test scores and we talk about the need for education inside the classroom and there's a lot of people that are against the teachers and against this day. But when you really break it down and you think about the importance and the value of our teachers and all of our staff and what they do for our future, it makes it pretty simple that this day is amazing. November 19th is an amazing day for our teachers to stand out on behalf of what's right. Over 15,000 people were in attendance at the statewide event in Indianapolis, and over 100 people were in Elkhart. For Globe News, I'm Katie Swore.